What if there was a simple, quick and free way to add graphics to your Zoom or Teams meetings so that you can stand out already at your next video call? Well, guess what? That's possible with H2R Graphics. Hi, my name is Enrico and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that suits you. In this video, you're going to learn how H2R Graphics can enhance your video calls without the hassle of spending hours learning OBS. You just need very basic knowledge of OBS Studio that you can learn in a couple of minutes because H2R Graphics will do the job for you. So let's go and create together our Zoom Graphics. You can Google for H2R Graphics. The first two results are both good. The first one points to here to record, which is the company making the software. Whereas the second one points directly to the H2R Graphics V2 website. So let's click on the second link for quick access. Let's download the application, install it and launch it. Everything I'm going to show you here is with a free version. When you run it, this is the interface that will show up. I have to say, it's not really straightforward what you're supposed to do here. That's why I'm making this tutorial. In order to work with H2R graphics, you'll need three panels. The first one is the control panel. Click on open and a new window will appear. In the control panel, you'll be able to edit and launch the graphic elements. Different types of content that we have are lower third, message, time, image, ticker, social, web page and score. Each of them has different options that we will cover in a second. Then there are two output panels. The output panel will show the content that you've launched from the control panel and that you want to stream to your OBS project. If you now click on preview and open, a third window will appear. That's the preview window and you can use it to preview the content that you want to launch from the control panel before you actually launch it to your output window. Let's have a quick look at how it works. By clicking on the preset Hello World content, which is a ticker, this will display on the preview and output windows simultaneously. If you instead want to send the content first to the preview window, then click on this rectangle on the left. So assuming you're live, your Hello World ticker will only be displayed on the preview for you, whereas it won't be broadcasted to your audience. That's useful in case you're unsure how your content looks like and you want to check it before you send it live. But most of all, I find it useful if you want to launch two or more pieces of content at the same time. So for example, let's preview the ticker and message content. And now if we click on run, they will be displayed at the same time in your output window. So your audience will be seeing them appearing at the same time. Before diving into the different type of graphics that you can insert in your project, let's now see how we can send the content to OBS. Let's open OBS Studio, create a scene where I will introduce my camera source and another scene where I will be placing my graphics from H2R graphics. To capture the content from the app, let's add a browser source. In the Output 1 tab, let's copy the URL and let's paste it in OBS. Modify the width and height of the source to 1920 by 1080 and click on Refresh Browser when source becomes active. Here it is, we're now capturing in OBS our H2R graphics output window. Ok, let's now build a scene where we will combine the camera and graphics content. I'll call it camera with graphics and I will add here the two previous scenes as sources. As best practice, I always recommend you to work with nested scenes. Ok, now the green graphics source is on the top and we don't see the camera. You can either apply a chroma key filter in OBS, but it's actually much more convenient because it saves your computer resources if you modify the settings directly in H2R graphics. Just go to settings and then in the background color type transparent. Back to OBS and voila, we now have the camera with our ticker and message. Ok, let's now see what kind of graphics we can send to OBS with H2R graphics. If you're finding this video useful, please hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch it. And by the way, I have lots of exciting new stuff for 2022, including a free beginner's OBS guide, an OBS course and lots of downloadable products that will make your life easier. So keep an eye on the pinned comments here below because I will post there all the news as soon as available. Back to H2R graphics now. Let's resize the different windows and have a deeper look at the control panel. Let's start from the rundown tab. All the icons that you see in the graphics project correspond to a piece of content. This one are part of a template project, but placeholder content that you will able to edit anytime. Let's click on the plus icon so that we're shown all the options. Under the simple tab, you'll find all the types of free content. 
there is also animated content that is part of the pro plan. So let's stick to the free stuff because I think it already offers plenty of options. The second tab is the theme. You have two preset themes with the default one being the H2R orange. It looks different on my screen because I already worked on it and saved it. But what you're seeing on your screen should be something like this. Let's create together a new theme and call it OBS Virtual Camera. You can select the font that will be used on all graphics. Then you have two types of text, the large text and the small text. As you can see, for example, in the lower third. For both of them, you can pick the color, the size, the line height and make it bold, italic or underlined. You can then choose the background color. Let's choose, for example, this light blue, rounding borders, padding and showing borders around the rectangles. Then you can choose how each element will transition in and out with slide, fade or no transition and a couple of other options you can play with. The third tab is social. I won't be focusing on this one because this is dedicated mainly to streamers. Basically, you can bring in here the chat messages from your YouTube live stream and have them displayed on your output. We then have the media tab when you can upload images that you want to show on your output. Then a score tab if, for example, you're running a competition between two teams and you want to show the score of team one versus team two. And then we have a variables tab that we're not going to use now for our purposes. Okay, let's customize our graphics project. Let's click on edit and then start modifying the ticker. For example, welcome to this session. And in the small text, let's add three items. Agenda topic one, agenda topic two, and agenda topic three. The cool thing is that you can mix up themes. You can have an overarching theme for the whole project, but then you can select another theme for a specific piece of content. But let's stick to just one theme to keep it simple. Let's adapt the position of the ticker and we're good. Just click on close and we're done. Second source is the image source and I will use it to add my logo. Let's select the image from the one that you have uploaded in the media tab and here we go. The image is now taking the whole screen. And let's click on the green pencil to edit it, make it smaller and position it to the top right. Let's also edit the message. For example, here you could put the title of your meeting. And let's modify the lower third by adding the name and the role of facilitator that I will be having at the session. Also here, you can adjust the size and position. I don't need the website content for the time being, so I delete it. But what I find useful is the timer. This content type offers different options. Current date time, time of day, countdown and count up. Well, let's insert a countdown and set a duration of five minutes for a scene that you could use, for example, right before the start of the meeting. And here we have our countdown. Just to show you, clicking on the social icon would display a selected chat message from your live stream that you would have to connect to H2R graphics. And this is how the score looks like. Congratulations, you're now able to add graphics to your video call. The only thing that is left is activate your virtual camera in OBS, select the virtual camera as video input in Zoom, and here we go. Now, if you want to take your skills one step further, please subscribe to my channel and watch one of these next two videos.